Hello and welcome to Infinity. This is the third in a series on blend modes in which we're just introducing some of the ideas about it. So this time we're going to look at what can be blended. And uh, just a reminder, what you have is a base layer here, which is something you've got. You deliberately then put something on top of it, which you're going to combine using a blend formula or a blend mode, as it's called. And those result in what you see is that it's not an actual layer, it's kind of a virtual layer called the result layer. Then, what can the base layer be? It can be a simple picture. It can be after you've had done some more blending and adjusting and so on. It can be a group. And it can be some sort of previous work as well. The blend layer uses even more things. You do the same sort of thing, but yet again, it's anything that kind of is a bit of a layer. So you can do a straight copy of the base layer part of it, just it inverted single colors, gradients, all sorts. So let's do some examples. And we're going to go to a picture here. Right. And we will start off, we'll hit Control J to do a duplicate of it on top of it. And you can literally go straight to that and go down here and as you run down here because in clicking on the normal there always the blend modes below and you come to something that's useful often by the way as a tip you can improve things with overlay and soft light a soft light's a gentler version but if you do overlay use the opacity here as a volume control so you can literally turn up the effect to whatever you want it to be 50% is often fairly good and this is a very, very simple way of perking up a picture. What you can do also is select a part of the picture. So if I take the selection brush here and let's increase the size of it a bit. And so I can select over here. I've got select to edges here, snap to edges, so that when I paint over it, it'll jump down to most edges there. Then I can make the brush a bit smaller, the left square bracket. Alt click into a few places just to reset where it should be. There we go. That's that's enough. It's 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 that you do some refining and things like that as well normally. But now because I've got this selected, if I go to the mask layer, it's going to put a mask onto this, and so it's going to control that amount of adjustment here because this layer here has got an overlay blend on it. We can even turn this up and down here to see the effect we want. So I've got that significantly improved. And something else you can do sometimes it's actually just copy that. So if I hit Control J, it's done it twice. If you don't like it, then of course you can go back the other way. You can change to another one, say for example, to make it darker, the sky, you might choose multiply. So there you go, there's a darker sky. And Control D gets rid of the marching ants. So what else can we do? You can actually put a completely solid layer over here. The easy way to do that is to go to layer and where is it? Uh, new fill layer, that's the one. Put the colour into this, so click on that, say something like a yellow. And then to blend this, we simply go to normal here and just run down the things you can do. That's nice in itself, isn't it? You can go, there's sort of quite sort of strong effects there. It's often uh, overlaying and soft light's often good. But that one in there was that linear burn. That was quite an interesting, strong effect, wasn't it? Again, you can use the opacity as a volume control on that. Let's do something else again. And we'll do one more thing. That's to put a pixel layer above here. It's transparent, so you can't see anything with it. But we'll go to the gradient tool here. Then if I draw from the bottom upwards here, a gradient across the picture. Yeah, so that goes all the way up to there. Click on this here. I'm going to change that from grey to black. So it goes from white to black up the picture. I can adjust that there. And then when I put on a blend mode, again click normal, you're going to get various effects like this. And again, sort of your overlay ones often work quite well on that. Look at the effect you're having there. So there we go. Very quickly, what it's shown is that the things that you blend together 
can they don't have to be just a pixel layer they can be all sorts of other things they could be the result of having doing a curves or you know you can put in solid layers gradients and so on and so there's all kinds of things that you can do with it that's it for now and thank you very much for watching <laughs>